3144P temperature transmitter provides industry-leading accuracy, stability, and reliability. This video will demonstrate how to accurately wire and configure the most common temperature sensors that can be used with this transmitter. Note that inside the transmitter's back cover are wiring diagrams printed for reference. These wiring diagrams are also provided inside the Quick Start Guide. To begin, twist the wires on the sensor together to form a single wire braid. Then, slide the wires through any conduit opening of the transmitter and screw in the sensor by hand until snug. Applying sealant to the sensor threads beforehand is a recommended practice. Use a wrench to tighten the sensor to local standards. The sensor wires and power connections must now be attached. Remember, the wire colors will vary based on manufacturer and sensor type. Here is the proper wiring configuration for a thermal couple. Note that the positive wire is connected to terminal 2 and the negative wire is connected to terminal 3. Here is the proper wiring configuration for a 3-wire RTD sensor. Note that the single white wire is attached to terminal 1 and that the two red wires are connected to terminals 2 and 3. Last, here is the correct wiring configuration for a 4-wire RTD sensor. Note that the sensor's two red wires are connected to terminals 1 and 2, and the two white wires are attached to terminals 3 and 4. Be aware that the wiring configuration for a 4-wire RTD can be flipped so that the two white wires are connected to terminals 1 and 2, and the two red wires are attached to terminals 3 and 4. Next, insert the power wires through the opposite side conduit entry and attach to the positive and negative terminals. After wiring is complete, the field communicator, like the 475, can be used to configure the sensor. First, attach the communicator to the transmitter's power inputs. Note that between 250 and 1100 ohms resistance must be in series for correct functioning. From the home screen on a 475, click Configure, Guided Setup, and then Configure Sensor. A warning screen appears explaining that the device must be removed from automatic control. Press OK. Then choose Configure Sensor 1 and press Enter. Scroll through the list to find the sensor type of your attached sensor and press Enter. If you selected an RTD, choose the correct number of wires and press Enter. Press Enter again to continue the configuration. Select your preferred engineering units and press OK on the following warning screen. Enter your preferred damping value and then select if you want the transient filter enabled. The sensor should now be correctly configured. Select Exit and then press the Home button to get back to the home screen. For more information on single element sensor wiring and configuration for the 3144P transmitter, please see the Quick Start Guide or go to the Emerson website